Welcome to this hands-on deep soil tutorial. In this video, we'll walk step-by-step -step through a time domain site response analysis using the deep soil freeware. We'll model a 15 meter layer of loose sand over rigid bedrock, apply real earthquake input motions, and explore key response outputs such as stress strain behavior, spectral acceleration, and displacement. Let's begin by creating a new profile. In the analysis type definition window, we choose linear as the analysis method and time domain as the solution type. We keep the default soil model and hysteretic formulation and select the metric unit system. Also, make sure equivalent linear frequency domain is checked under complementary analyses. Finally, label the analysis tag as DSTL0. In step 2, we define the soil profile. Here, we input a 15 meter thick layer named loose sand. Enter the unit weight as 20 kN per cubic meter. In the shear wave velocity as 510 meters per second. For this undamped linear analysis, the damping ratio is set to zero. Note that you can define the groundwater level. In this example, the water level is set to ground level. For the base, we assign a rigid half space to simulate bedrock. No further input is required here for linear analysis. Now, we go to the input motion selection. From the list, we select the Imperial Valley earthquake and generate its motion plots. You'll see the acceleration, velocity, and displacement time histories, along with intensity and spectral content graphs. Step 4 involves damping configuration. We stick with the recommended frequency independent damping. Select two modes, and choose not to update the damping matrix during analysis as this is a linear simulation. In step 5, we configure analysis controls. Use the default 20 iterations and 0.65 effective shear strain ratio. Choose the Newmark beta method for integration and linear interpolation in time domain. Select surface output and enable displacement animation. Don't forget to define the maximum strain increment. Now hit Analyze. Once complete, head to the Results tab where you can explore time histories, stress strain curves, spectral acceleration, and displacement animations. This helps us visualize how the soil layer responds to earthquake loading. Finally, the response spectrum plots compare the input ground motion against the motion at the surface. This is key to understanding how ground shaking is amplified through the soil profile. 